Welcome to the Mindset by Design podcast with your host, the expert Andy Murphy, where you will learn the tips, tricks, and strategies he teaches his world-class clients to give you the skills to dominate any business. What's going on, Mindset by Design crew, and welcome to episode, well... This is a clip show. So it's not really a true episode. You can grab the full episodes always every single week and you can jump into those. But what we're going to do each week also in this regular feature is this could be clips of the previous episode. It could be lives I've done on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. It could be private sessions. It could be just awesome stuff. Now, remember what we're all about here at Mindset by Design is about building new behaviors, new ways of thinking, feeling, and acting using NLP, which I'm a world-class expert at, concepts and the understanding of neuroscience, and also behavioral psychology, influence, persuasion, peak performance, all of those things combined together to be able to retrain your conscious, unconscious mind and really change the brain, the nervous system to make you superhuman. That's it, right? Have you ever seen that movie, Limitless? Right. What my job is, is to give you the tools and tactics to be able to, well, live a limitless life, have a limitless brain, and um, yeah, create the life and freedom that you truly want. I've done this for 20 years all over the world, and I've done it with people from Saudi Arabian royalty to Fortune 500 CEOs, people doing IPO, world champions, digital superstars, right? People that you know all over the internet. We've got NBC winners, Hollywood producers and actors. I can go on and on, you know? But the idea is here to help you. We've been doing this for a long, long time and we're just getting started. So today, Well, this is a clip show, so um, enjoy, and I will see you at the end of the show. Oh, just before you um, jump into the show, make sure that you're hitting the show notes because we've got constant awesome courses, live events, free things, awesome things to be able to make you really perform at your absolute best and create the life that you deserve. So... Make sure you hit those show notes up or head over right now to andymurphy.online. Andymurphy.online. So enjoy and I will see you at the end of the show. Number one, if you're going to do sales, go and seek out the best leader worth duplicating. The market's filled with a lot of average salespeople. The market's filled with a lot of average sales leaders. But the market's also filled with a lot of great salespeople and great sales leaders. You find the right sales leaders worth duplicating, the chances of you winning not only increases, but the speed and how quickly you win also increases. So choose an industry, say you're going to do real estate, you're going to do digital marketing, insurance, finance, stocks, whatever it is, fine. Choose that industry, stay in that industry. Don't keep jumping industry to industry to industry. Rather, within that industry, seek out the best mentors to work with. So that's point number one in the tip you're going to get. Love it. You make some great points there, great points. And that's one of the big points, I have lots of points here, that's one of the big points that... Um, I wanted to make sure was different because I just want to, I've created something that I just wish that that I'd had myself. Do you know what I mean? And that really what it boils down to. That's why it's, it's, I want to build a, like a masterclass, like a Netflix of, of sales, awesome people that everyone can learn off. And, and that's important, right? Because perspectives is important. But putting yourself around these people and putting yourself around me and putting yourself around all of these other badasses all over the world, it does something different. It constantly reinforces it. Look at it this way, right? It's like going to the gym on your own or it's like going to the gym with a squad of badasses. <laughs> it's like, 
Big difference, right? Who do you think is going to get the results quicker? That's it, right? It's not about the... I see this so much in sales and it drives me nuts, right? It's all about the rah-rah. It's like, pump up. Come on, rah! And I saw this video the other day. And and it's probably good for 20-year-olds and 22-year-olds when you're in that early start, early stage of sales. Um yeah, you know, I saw a video of like this, it's a high level sales training company and they were in a club and they were all bottle service and they were all rah, 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 rah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. But that gets boring. And that dopamine hit that they're giving people and the anchoring that they're giving people, it's it, it wouldn't motivate me. Once you've done your first like 200 sales, it doesn't really motivate you. It's like, yeah, what's that? I'm just wasting money. Who cares? It's the same bullshit conversations. And who cares about that pump up rah-rah? Give me the leads. Give me this, the experience. Give me the ability to close and earn loads of money so I can go on with the rest of my life. I don't need to go and party or I don't need to boiler room or Wolf of Wall Street. You know, rah, 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 rah. That's so outdated. It's like from the 90s, man. And it's like people are sophisticated these days. We have sophisticated sales and we have sophisticated buyers. And if somebody came all egoed up to me and they were trying to sell me, it doesn't matter what they were trying to sell me, a pen or or a plane, I'm not going to buy from them, man. Because I can see the ego in them. And and this is about sophisticated sales. And, And that's the key point, man, right? That's the key point. Number two is the following. Since you know, and I know that this thing's going to be hard mentally and emotionally, what worked for me is over and over and over again, I read autobiographies and content about people that persevered. Like even this one, the book of the month for my sales guys, I have 20,000 plus insurance agents. This one, the book we're reading is a book called Endurance. This is a book about you lasting. This is a book about you being able to go through tough times. You need to feed yourself so much of that because your friends, your family, your cousins, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, they're all putting so much fear. Babe, why are you doing this? Babe, why don't you go back to your job? Babe, why don't you go back to the... You need to, you need to almost fight off all that negativity with positivity that you can make it in sale. Right. I, I love this. This is, this is the, the, the best point so far. Because... Again, what did he say? You have to have endurance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to get over the highs and lows. You have to build, you have to design your brain, you have to delete what's stopping, you have to install the ultimate you. That's it, that's it. And it's not just installing the ultimate you, it's installing that ultimate you that you've pre-designed to be able to step into that sale in a certain way, to understand money in a certain way, to have a belief and be able to bounce back in a certain way, right? You can read all the books in the world and they'll give you perspectives, but what they're not gonna do is give you access to the unconscious mind. They're not, they're just not, right? That's a different talent. That's a different level of skill. That's why most people are only doing sales with willpower. They're only doing sales with the conscious bit of their brain. They are not, not ever going to reach that top level performance without insane discipline and and willpower. And guess what? Yeah, well, Patrick's a little bit different from from he's the 1%, right? Which is why he has, he just said 20,000 salespeople working under him think about that. But I know I could take those 20,000 salespeople and I know I could improve their level of sales, um, not by even teaching them anything new about sales. They might be incredible at them and know all the tactics and strategies and subliminal influence. They might know all that subliminal influence that I teach. But I know I could develop them to be in a whole another level like I just have for people going through IPO or, or doing business mergers or world champion athletes and fighters and, and you know, Hollywood actors. And it, that's the difference, right? So I want to bring all that to you as a gift, man. So I want to create longevity for you. And um, yeah, that's the whole point, right? Otherwise, what are you doing it for? Point number three, whatever product you're selling, do whatever you can to sell yourself on the product. Before I give you point number four, if you were in the sales office I was in, in Encino from 2002 till 2005, 
you would have found me all over the office with a role play buddy, role playing scripts. It didn't matter what it was. We would role play scripts and objections. We'd sit in a room for one hour after nine o'clock at night while everybody else is gone. And I would give an objection and you'd overcome it. Then I'm like, I can think, I think we can come out with a better way to overcome it. I would give it, you would give it. I would give it, you would give it. Oh, that was good. Then we write it down. It was like, let me try this one. How about this one? How about that one? Well, that's the perfect one. How about that? How about this? How about that? We role played so much until any objection that people asked throughout the day, I could do with my eyes closed. I can do it with my eyes closed today, even though it was in 2003, 2004. So find yourself a role play buddy and role play with them constantly until you can overcome all the major objections without even thinking about them. Love it, love it. And yeah, he's right. That's definitely a beautiful way to stay sharp, right? Again, we go back to martial arts. Martial arts, you're going to see right through everything, including in the, include, I've developed the belt system, basically. Um, but you, it, role playing is a beautiful way. It's just so you stay fresh, so you stay sharp, right? It's like if you've never trained, um, you haven't sparred in a while, and then you go and spar in a ring, you're going to be a little rusty. But if you spar three days or four days that week, guess what? You're going to be a lot sharper. It's the same thing, right? You've got to stay on top of it. And and by doing that, it's back in the day, it was funny. I used to write, we had a very strict sales script, but that we used to be able to use... Um, well, it's progression, progressive commitment closing. So we never closed at the end, although we did close at the end. We would progressively um, get commitments all the way through the sales process. So by the end, they we before we go into the actual close, we've already isolated objections. We already know what's come up. We know where they're at. We've dip tested them all the way, right? So then we're not hardcore closing at the end. Back in the day, we, we still would if they needed it, but that's yeah i've had my karma for those things for sure but be overcoming objections should become less and less and less um if you've done the sales process correctly right and i'm sure you're aware of that and i'm i definitely know patrick's patrick's there but when the objection does come up and we can isolate it then having those um the rebuttal of 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 closes or objection handling then that that becomes yeah, that becomes easy, you know. So keeping our minds sharp, having role plays, absolutely. Um, but being in the game and being surrounded by a sales team, being surrounded by a sophisticated sales team and mentors and all heading towards not just teaching you sales, but teaching you to ex take this income and then grow it into a freedom and a lifestyle instead of blowing it on BS and cars and shiny shit. No, it's about creating freedom. Otherwise, again, what are you doing this for, man? Okay, crew, there we go. The end of another clip show. I really hope you enjoyed it. You got lots of good stuff from it. And again, if you want to go back and check the previous episode, well, it's waiting for you there. And speaking of waiting for you there, it's, well, you've got to make a decision. That's how much do you want the next stage of your life? Do you want to have that limitless brain? Do you want to be like a Jedi? Do you want to be part superhuman? Do you want to take your business life to a whole new level with influence, persuasion, peak performance, and neuroconditioning? Well, I'm sure you do. This is how we scale businesses from five, six, seven, eight figures plus this is how i've worked with the top people in the world and i just want to share some of their secret strategies with you so the next thing you need to do very simple nice and easy just simply go to the links that's it hit the show notes up see what's available for you today and also make sure that you're heading over to andymurphy.online why because we got articles we got videos we got content all for you sitting right there and so many options to help you get to that next stage to win finally win or take your business and life to a whole different level sound good Awesome, that's waiting for you there. And make sure that you're finding me on social media. It's very easy. It's Andy Murphy Mindset. Type that in, you got me. Or Andy Murphy NLP, Andy Murphy Mindset. Either way, you can find me all over social. Make sure that you're connecting, make sure that you're hanging out, and make sure that you're writing me an awesome review somewhere. Spotify, Apple, or any other platform. I love you for it. 
They love me for it, and it means I can keep pumping out this awesome content. Okay, do that right now, and um, until the next time, much, much love. Have an amazing week, and oh yeah, one more thing. Why don't you smile for me and keep kicking ass? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode of the Mindset by Design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy. We'll catch you next time.